Hello and welcome to the deep guide. So today is going to be slightly different to my normal guide. Rather than showing you the best score possible and trying to get as perfect as possible, because it's just been released, I'm actually going to show you a nice, easy, consistent um, sort of selection of shots. So this should easily get you below par, easily beat your friends. Um, but it's not going to show you perfectly. So we're actually still not set on the perfect lowest score. Uh, if you want to see something in the meantime, Ghost Sapper already uploaded his video um, where he did a few uh, sort of lower score shots um, than this is going to give you. Um, but actually, we've already found some lower shots. I even uploaded a 18 and 2 earlier. Um, and then Scoots has uploaded a whole 17. And uh, we're still working on getting something like hole 16 and hole 14 uh, etc but yeah so let's get into this guide and let's show you how to get below par and how to beat your friends now hopefully these should be as consistent as possible um, and help you get a nice low score but that doesn't mean they're foolproof I might miss some shots and all I'll do is reset to last shot and show you what I should have done or how you could correct your errors so it's actually quite helpful even if I do miss so hole one there's this bright green thing here you're just going to aim free power at it now I haven't missed but I just tried to record this guide and I said that to hole four um, and I ended up missing on that shot which is the first time in like 10 shot uh, 10 tries so it's quite interesting hole two again nice easy hold uh, two power straight forward even if you end up slightly left slightly right you should still be going in with two power obviously if you're a bit of a uh, impatient idiot <laughs> you can go more power but obviously then if you're slightly left or slightly right there's a risk that you'll fall out of the ball okay hole three all i do is two power then aim anywhere from between these two corners, like halfway, or as close to the left hand side as possible. Uh, I normally aim about a third or a quarter of the way from the left to the right. And as you can see, that gets me in. Now, obviously, if I did more power, there's a chance I go outside of the ball. But even then, you're only looking at two, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, now we're back to hole four. Now, as you can see, anyone who's played Twilight Hole 3, you'll know that these are so inconsistent. But if we go full power, one left, two up, what you should happen is you should not end up here. I don't know what's going on. Maybe if we go slightly more to the left. That was slightly better. So what you want to end up is you want to end up here i was ending up here but i don't know what's going on with my game at the moment um but even if you do end up here rather than resetting obviously just take the little shot out closer um it would be it it would be stupid to try and go in i mean it is a big ball but you also risk to um take the risk of shooting out so if you're just going below par shoot to the left and then do something about like 1.8 power you could aim towards the hole if you wanted but then you would probably want to drop your power to maybe like 1.7 so let's do that actually so as you can see it goes in 1.8 power would basically take you out the edge of the bowl hit the backboard and come in nothing too difficult all five is probably the slight any more difficult shot out of most of these holes um because what you're going to do is you're going to go turn around go at 3.8 power and line up the right hand side of your red line the center of this green and then you're just going to move until you get a decent size gap um in between and you just release and this should get you in now occasionally you will miss the ball then you just have to get a nice easy put for two 
worst case scenario you get a three honestly it's a fairly decent shot uh, like fairly decently consistent shot so it shouldn't be too hard all six is another tricky one because it's so precise in the power um, but what I will say is you'll very likely either end up here or here and either way if you go about 2.5 power you should be fine maybe even slightly less if you're closer to the ramp hopefully we're not going to miss it though we're going to go about 3.6 3.7 sort of in between that sort of power you know there's a decent uh, sort of leniency and um, that was about probably the max amount of power you can do and then you can do a slightly bit less you can also do about 3.9 in Kobe it but obviously that's up to you the whole seven we have actually got in one there's a weird sort of thing where you can perfectly time this bounce off the edge here and it'll send you flying multiple ways but we're not going to focus on that what we're going to do instead is aim halfway between this corner and this line full power wait until it's completely flat trap door and then release and that actually puts you here nice easy position to aim down this ramp so here what you're aiming to do is bounce off this wall with slightly enough power that you don't hit this wall and then you go in if you do hit this wall there's a chance you can still go in but you'll likely just end up over here um and so you're still getting an easy free but you're still below par so it's not the end of the world but all we're going to do is go slightly above one probably about 1.1 power halfway in the gap and that should be fine as you can see i probably did slightly too little to be like consistently safe probably wanted to do a tiny bit more but even then that still gets me and it's really lenient and you can actually bounce off it multiple times if you really wanted to but yeah what's the point okay so this hole really easy here's the start you basically aim at the white bit where it meets uh, where it's in line with the dot at about 1.8 power obviously if you aim too much power you're going to go out of the ball too little power you might hit the fish still easy shot nice easy hole in one okay hole nine you can actually get in a one um go to ghost Sapper's video for that he's got a nice shot here i had a shot that bounced off both walls um but we're not going to be focusing on that instead we're going to be aiming for this gap and you're going to go about 2.2 2.3 power slightly to the left of middle and what this should do is either put you at the very top of this or it should hopefully go down here it really doesn't matter from here you're just going to have to do slightly more power not too much though but from down here you want to do two power obviously if you do too much and you end up here take the little shot across it's not worth trying to bounce off back here and go up um unless you've practiced it so obviously if it's two power from down there we're going to go a bit more maybe about 2.2 not too much power obviously but that should still get me over safely if you want to take a slight risk you can go about 2.5 and you can bounce off this this jellyfish and then go in but again i wouldn't recommend it from here one about 0 0.9 power 0 0.8 power you should be fine okay hole 10 is possible in two but we're just going to be aiming at this cross at three power Now, okay, oh, I got a weird bounce. Okay, you get this really big bounce. If not, you'll probably end up slightly on the ramp, which is a bit weird. Um, but either way, you should be fine. You can go for the two. I'm not going to risk it. All we're going to do is go basically three up. And then you're going to go one square to the right. So obviously, because we're in the center, we're going to be aiming in the center of this one. So sort of up here somewhere, about three power. So free power. Oh. 
aimed slightly too far to the left. So let's aim slightly more to the right. There you go, that was much better. Obviously there's normally a bit of leniency. However, normally what happens is you don't get that weird bounce and you actually end up on the ramp. And so free power is plenty. So maybe if you do get that weird bounce and you end up at the bottom of the ramp, maybe doing the same aim, but then maybe add a tiny bit more power, like 3.1, but not too much because we don't want to go up that ramp because it is too risky. That is the way you would probably get a two consistently, but obviously we're not after that. Okay, so hole 11. Uh, it's a bit tricky. You just make sure that you don't go down there. Otherwise, you're going to have a nightmare of a time. So all we're going to do is go 3.5 power, pretty close to the left-hand side of this. Don't have to be exactly as close to the, it, but the closer you are, the better. I actually got a bit of a weird bounce there, but either way, you should still end up here. And then from here, you just do two power, maybe up to 2.5. I wouldn't go any more than that. We're just gonna go two power straight. And I barely missed it. Um, just whilst we're here, if you do end up in the normal spot, which is like here, just aim sort of halfway up this dark square here and you should be fine. You get a lot bigger bounce than you would realize. And you don't want to aim too close to the sort of pinnacle of it. The three there, by the way, the three there for that part is ridiculously low. <laughs> Some of these, that, to me, that just seems bonkers. It should be at least a par four. Okay, hole 12. We're going to aim full power at this knot here. Now, these notorious thing golf your friends can be quite inconsistent. This one does seem to be pretty fair to you, unlike hole four. Full power. And it's going to put you somewhere down here. Now, I personally hate these small shots. I always mess them up. But what you should be doing is going about 1.2 power slightly to the left of the flag. Uh, the less power you do, the more to the left you need to do. 1.2 and then just miss the uh, fish. But even then, I, I really slightly too less and I actually did... I think I probably released at the right time, but I did too little power. But I still got up here, and the fish were quite kind to me. Uh, and so I can still easily put in for a free. Obviously, if you do end up going down one of the other three directions, um, it's just the same amount of power. About 1.3 power should get you there. Fine. Okay. Next hole, we're going to be going for a free. It is possible in two but we're not going to be going for it. Now what's interesting here is they've actually left like a little bit sticking out here, which is quite funny to me, but we're going to take advantage of it. Oh, there you go. So you can see where it sort of, there's a, formed like a little tr triangle, like an, an oh, I do mass and I can't remember. That sort of angle, not an obtuse, the other one. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be aiming pretty much at it, maybe slightly to the left if you want. Uh, but full power. And this what it should put you is it should put you pretty far back and pretty close to the ramp. And that's really where you want to. Even if you do end up going slightly too far to the right, you'll end up around here. Slightly too far to the left, you'll end up a bit closer to here. But even then, it should still be pretty much the same shot every time. All you need to do is you need to go enough power to get past here. Obviously, not enough power to hit this but even then if you do hit that you'll be fine as if you go out that's the riskier shot. so what you want to do is you want to go about 2.3 2.4 power as close to the left hand side as possible maybe even slightly to the right and then you've got a nice easy put in there for here obviously if you aim if you end up further back do a bit more power like 2.5 um 2.6 and then obviously even if you do end up here 
you're only losing a shot unless you're dreadful at the game. And so a three, four, pretty easy to get there. Okay, now here's one of the trickier holes. I'm going to say that because it seems fairly inconsistent. A bit weird. We're going to do 3.5 power and this should land you perfectly here. Now what's going to happen is either you're going to get a bounce where it hits off this and you end up going down here and that's the one you ideally want. But it might put us up here. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. So 3.5 power. Yeah, so we got the slightly worse one. You've got two options. You either risk it and try and shoot straight through, which obviously, as you can see, but a gap is possible. But we're probably going to take the safe option and just put down. And actually, we did the worst option possible, which is the fish screwed us. There you go. I'm not a dreadful. I am dreadful. I am absolutely dreadful. Again, as you can say, I, I do not like this hole. I am working on a more consistent one, but either way, we still got to here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're just going to go in, try and get in, and hope, and then you just pray and that you go into the hole. Um, but it's normally going to take you two shots, one to get into the cannon over there, and then one to put you in. We'll do slightly over one, not too much. And release. Oh, worst case scenario, once again. <laughs> so let's release it as it opens. This is this. This has never happened to me before. I, as you can see, I just hate this hole. We are working on getting it more consistent. Um, I'm starting to think that basically what you want to actually happen is you want to be further up here when it releases. That seems to be slightly better. But even then, I've had a nightmare of a hole and I've got eight strokes. But because I did so well at the start and I've been so consistent throughout, even if you have a nightmare like that and you get eight, which should be theoretically, I mean, realistically, eight should be the worst you get on a subpar run. So we'll take it. So now what you're going to do here is you're going to aim halfway through the face of this side at 3.5 power and then you've just got to time it perfectly. Which is basically you're releasing when there's a gap in between. So it's not too hard. But he said that and he's now going to miss it because it's me. And if you make it through the first gap, you should easily uh, be fine coming through the second one. So here you can actually go in and it's like slightly below 3.5 power, perfect power. Or you can just do like full power or probably more safe to do about 3.8. And then sort of like one left, three up or something like that should be fine. Like so. Now obviously if I went uh, slightly less power, I might have got it, but we're not going to risk it. We're just going to take the three and we'll be happy with that. Onto hole 16. If you can master this first shot, which isn't particularly difficult, you'll end up here and you should easily get the uh, two or the three. And it's really not too hard. You, the problem here is there's double colours here, which always tricks me. Basically, you're going to go one right, three up, and then you're basically going to aim sort of a quarter of the distance from here to here. So you're basically aiming the right hand side of your line on this corner. And you're going to go 3.5 power. And what that should do is it should bounce you over here. And then you've got a Pretty easy lineup. Now I didn't really test this shot, but it should be about 2.1, slightly left of the flag. 
and uh, I went slightly too left and slightly too powerful. But either then, either way, about that much power will not mean that you bounce off this back wall and go down. So it's not the end of the world. Oh my god, that's so bad. This is this is like two hours past my bedtime normally. <laughs> well, recently, anyway. Normally I go to bed at like 5 a.m. <laughs> okay, so we're on the scary hole where there's five shocks. Don't forget the fifth shock. And a tentacle type monster. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to go one right, four up, and we're going to go three power. So it is possible to get a one here. The reason we do this is we get a nice bounce that puts us pretty central. And now it's just about aiming pretty much directly at the flag, maybe a tiny bit left, not too much. And then go about 1.2 power. Again, if you do more power, you risk going down there and then you just waste a couple shots. So it's, again, it's probably better to do slightly less power because then you know just to add slightly more power to get back up there. Um, so say you did slightly less power and you ended up here, then you just keep going <laughs> and going down here. Because as soon as you land down here, you basically have to take two shots anyway. So it's up to you. But again, if you hit, if you do about the power I did and you hit the flag anyway, it'll probably just send you off over here and over here if you do slightly too much. So it's not the end of the world. Okay, so hole 18 is possible in two. It's on my channel. It's basically going from here over there. Uh, but obviously, if you're playing this normally, you're not going to do that. You're going to go free power at the right hand side of the sort of pillar. And that should put you anywhere around here. It's not 100% consistent. I've actually ended up in a really nice spot that really makes me want to go for the. <laughs> but we're not going to risk it and so you've got a few options come straight and then you have to go up here if you come here obviously you have to come up here as well and you're going to take a couple shots anyway so what i would say is just risk it take two shots to go through here 3.5 power just take the shots if you happen to be really unlucky obviously you're really unlucky um, but by this point, you should be fairly below par. Even with that eight, I'm really below par. Um, so obviously, I've taken two shots now. So I'm on 47. So I can take the extra risk uh, to do it. And then from here, you want to aim. It's a lot more right than you would think. But about 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2. Um, I've actually ended up here a few times. So you've got a really easy shot. Let's do 1.2. And there you go. So even with that nightmare on hole 14, we still easily got below par. And we had a few minor hiccups along the way as well. So I'm hoping that should be fine for you. Obviously, that hiccups really annoyed me, but this should be a decent enough guide and sort of walk along and walk through show you just how to manage this course it's really not that difficult and you should be fine also if you want to see more of this type of things where i talk through it i show you how i correct my mistakes etc how what i would change uh, for other maps just let me know and i can do that um but yeah hope this was helpful hope you get below par should be fairly easy Obviously, go and check out Ghost Sapper's video if you want to see some low score. Or also check out my whole 18. Check out Scooch, who's uploaded. And I imagine people like Spence will also upload some low scores uh, over the next week or so. Uh, and I'll leave you with this. Super Jump 18 is possible. I know, right? So I'll probably end up streaming that at some point. Check me over at twitch.tv slash gizzy gz where the i is one i know it annoys me but yeah cheers for watching and i'll see you guys later